Is Tremor as a cameo good or bad? Today I'm talking about the good, the bad, the ugly, the pros, the cons that might make or might not make Tremor as a cameo worth it. Let's get into it. Take it one step at a time. So Tremor, as we all know, offers a ton of tools. I mean, he's got three different variations. We have Aftershock, we got Crystalline, and we have Metallic, and each variation offers different tools depending on what situation you're in. So as we get into the, you know, pros and cons, like, is he worth it? Let me first state that I love Tremor. I think he's great. I think the idea of variations that offer different things is just, is just awesome. I wish every cameo had different variations. Like it is too cool of an idea, but an idea on paper is different than an idea put into practice. So quick rundown for everybody in Aftershock, we have a lot of offensive tools like our forward punch. We got great combo extension. We have a good mix up low hit. It's triple hit there. We have a low projectile in metallic. We have an overhead projectile in metallic as well. In crystalline, we get armor. So a couple things about these moves though, this is kind of where it goes into like, you know, pros and cons. That is a huge pro. That is, you have so many tools. You have projectiles, you have offensive tools like combo extension with aftershock, and then you get armor using crystalline and a projectile parry. You get the idea. We have a ton of tools. So you might be thinking, oh my gosh, yo, your tremor must be overpowered if we have all these tools to work with. And I can see why you might think that, but it's actually not the case. A couple notes here. First of all, our combo extension move from aftershock, let's be honest, a lot of cameos offer that kung lao offers that scorpion offers that Jax offers that that's not really new we get a low hit there and this is cool that's a good low hitting move the problem is if you use it as a standalone move or even in a combo you see we're stuck in an animation i can't do anything so it's not really a combo extender or anything like that it's more or less used as a mix-up if you use it by itself again great tools but they have the drawback of not being able to do anything from them if you use them by themselves same with the armor look at this armor i'm trying to get stuff out there Dude, it took me so long i think it's like 70 frames before i can do anything using the armor so having so many tools is a great pro but not being able to use them as much as you want is kind of a con and by often as you want i mean like why would i really use this back low when i can't really do anything off of it i'm just gonna go with my own low hits or any low hits you might have and just trying to go into the combo extension like this instead you see what i mean like you're probably not going to use this if you don't want to or you can't in the moment again you might throw in the mix up but in reality we all want more damage we all want to extend our combos we all want to gain this armor but it's kind of tricky to pull off because it takes forever so you might get hit out of it but there's a unique thing tremor has where when you change variations like this you can actually cancel into a move that that new variation offers and it just cancels right into it but in doing so you use your entire cameo bar so let's say we're in crystalline but i want to use that triple low hit from aftershock here's how that would look in a combo we're gonna do two hits call out tremor to change variations press back cameo to do the three low hits so firstly it's going to use the entire bar in doing so but it canceling into that moves frees us up out of the animation so we're not stuck in the animation the opponent can block the three lows yes but then we can go in for the overhead before the lows are even done in their animation so we're going to call in tremor do the variation switch do back cameo and then we're free because we're not stuck in the animation no more allowing us to do the overhead while the lows are going on like this so was that low hit worth the full bar? This is the big conversation that I wanted to have because you can do that with almost any move Tremor has at all of his variations. You want to call in the armor, you can go ahead and do that like this. Now we got the armor and it's a lot faster. Like we're not stuck in the animation of like, okay, put the armor on me like you're throwing on the Iron Man suit. No, it's instantly on there. You're ready to rock and roll, but it uses your entire cameo. So my first point with doing that is it is so great that we have so many tools but I'm not gonna lie to you. Yes, there are other cameos that offer very similar tools for half the cameo bar, same recharge rate, and you're not stuck in animation. You see what I'm getting at here? I get that the armor is great. I get the triple low is great. Is it worth your entire bar? Like, I'm kind of like as I use Tremor, I'm just I'm just tired of using my entire cameo bar for any good move. Yo, one step. That's the trade off of using Tremor. I know, but that's the whole point of this video. You know, pros and cons. You got a lot of great moves, and if you can find a way to you know implement them in your gameplay without having to cancel into them just using the entire bar that's great and i'm sure a lot of characters can but if i really want to utilize the best and make my armor the most optimal you tell me i gotta like you know uh do a combo cancel into it then i got armor that's great but then i have to wait what feels like so long to do with something else with tremor then am i just gonna use the armor again am i gonna be able to use projectiles am i gonna be able to use my three low hits like the point of this is almost to stay in metallic so that way you have projectiles if needed 
But then you can go up or down into Aftershock, or you can actually go into, you know, Crystalline to use their moves as well. So for Immetallic, we can go either way. We can go down into Crystalline and get our armor, or we can use a triple low hit again. And then go for the overhead. Is a mix up worth your entire cameo more? I feel like there are other cameos that offer lows, offer overheads, offer projectiles, offer teleports, offer some form of utility that only use half the cameo bar, giving you double the action, double the cameo usage, bro, maybe a little less utility. I mean, don't get me wrong, it is really cool to be able to utilize that cancel inside of combos like even this and just keep it going, man. It's really satisfying, it's a lot of fun, and again, you have a lot of tools to work with. But essentially, if you use it like that, which probably everyone's going to, because you want the full you, know, you, you don't want to be stuck in the animation you want the you want the full move and in order to do so you got to cancel into it using the full bar so it's like now you have a lot of moves you can cancel into great but you only get one move per every refill at that point you got to wait till the entire cameo bar is refilled it's just a lot so when it comes to the question of is tremor worth it my response to that is yes for the most part let, let me kind of give that a caveat right i think he's worth it for the most part if you are ready to plan your gameplay around one cameo a bar usage for every single move i mean yeah it definitely can be worth it but i also wouldn't blame somebody if they chose to like not go to the tremor route and just choose a cameo that doesn't have that kind of commitment isn't that expensive but also offers other great tools i think he's great i think he's worth it i think he offers a lot of great tools but that's just me guys let me know down below what do you think of tremor as a cameo in mortal kombat 1 do you think his expensiveness is worth it or would you rather use a different cameo let me know your thoughts down below subscribe here for more content take it one step at a time